Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell and today we're gonna, uh, here in Queen Center Mall uh, going to be asking some things uh, that you guys I know uh, will want to know, some things that will benefit uh, many of us, especially Nintendo fans. So see you in about a second. Hello guys, so I'm, I'm back over here, I'm back home. So here's the news guys. So I contacted uh, several malls actually, one being Queen Center Mall and a bunch of others. And it's funny because I didn't see anything coming up on their to-do list. So I wanted to ask and I asked around and believe it or not, like I knew it was gonna happen, although I was a little skeptical because two years ago we didn't have this showing up. The, uh, Nintendo is actually gonna have for the holidays like they did last year, if you guys remember that video, uh, an entire showcase in a mall. So they're gonna have, they're gonna close like a certain area of the mall, uh, you know, rent it out and basically showcase their new games. So I spoke to the dude over there and he said that it's gonna happen nationally. They're already starting to set up over there, so he's with Nintendo. So he told me that they're gonna be sending, uh, setting up nationally to different malls, all locations. Again, this is promotion for Nintendo to get their word out there for their new games and all that stuff to get more people to be a member of Nintendo Which is a great thing and I can't wait for that to you know to see what they have in store and I asked him I said What games will they have? Uh, you know uh, demoing over there and I Kind of wanted to keep this a uh, surprise for you guys. So because I thought it was gonna be different in every store uh, apparently he said it's national and international so they're gonna have it internationally as well uh, Pokemon uh, sword and Pokemon shield and Luigi's Mansion 3 is gonna be the games that they're gonna have on display over there for you guys to play now if you guys did not download the demo for Pokemon uh, uh, sword or Pokemon shield go ahead and do that you guys could actually play it uh, I know a lot of you guys didn't request me to buy this game. Some of you guys said you don't care. Uh, to be honest with you, I started getting into the Pokemon world a little. I'm not that much of a fan as well. So obviously I will play it and let you guys know how the heck this game is. But we already know through the demo how it's going to be. And it looks like a pretty cool game. Uh, my wife is a big Pokemon fan, so I know she will love it. Uh, you know, she'll definitely love this game. Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, she gets it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. At 60 bucks uh, right now you can get them both for a hundred dollars and as you can see right now uh gamestop has this thing where they're telling you like luigi's mansion 3 where it says play this game risk-free if you don't uh you can return it within 48 hours for a full retail value credit so i mean it really pays to uh you know it does, you're not paying anything to get this game if you want to get it and just give it a try but to be honest the demos are there for you to play and it's gonna be exactly the same thing I'm sure my buddy from GameStop did not get the game yet uh, he is getting it very soon so we'll probably get a chance to play this game way before it happens so uh, you know before it's released so I could probably let you know something before uh, the release date uh, because I am gonna get a chance to play this game uh, before I just need to know if he allows me you know to say something or not uh like last time but of course i wasn't able and i did tell you guys some things um but that one and jedi fallen you know fallen order uh you know star wars jedi fallen order uh is gonna be a great uh definitely a great uh option to do where you can get the game and then afterwards uh not worry about you know paying so much because you can get your money back give me one second Okay, guys, sorry, I'm on dog control here. My puppy's still a little bit wild. Um, so that's all I got to say about this. I mean, it, it, I, I love that GameStop is doing that. I really think it's going to increase sales. I know some people are like, well, they're so stupid because anybody can now play it, beat it within 48 hours, and just toss the game back, which is true. But most of the people are going to keep it, and it kind of uh, makes it more marketable, uh, makes the GameStop brand, uh, you know, itself, uh, GameStop, being the go-to place because now you know you have nothing to lose. And you get, and it kind of aids them too because you only get store credit for it, which means you'll have to spend it on another game and so on and so forth. So those are going to be the games that are going to be playable definitely in the demo shows. 
that they're going to have. Now, I asked him, I said, is it going to be different games throughout? He said it's going to be like that uh, nationally and internationally. So those games will be pretty much in all their displays. Now, he said whether they're going to add another game or not is debatable, but those are the games that they want to, to kind of push. Now, Nintendo, I'm going to say this again. Uh, I think you guys are extremely stupid for not seeing the obvious. The fact that you could have sold those two Neon controllers in a release with Luigi's Mansion 3 for the holidays. And please, dear God, I hope you guys have a brain in your skulls. Because if you do, you would market it with Luigi's Mansion 3 and those two Joy-Cons that are green and release it as a bundle. Uh, and maybe, you know... Give it a couple seconds with laser print on the actual chassis of the system and laser print uh, nice Luigi or Mario like you guys did for the 3DS, which I have and I showed you guys in the review. Look back on that. And, uh, you know, I really wish that they could have done that with Nintendo Switch. And, you know, I don't know, maybe even laser something on the Joy-Cons itself. That would be freaking cool. Um, and make it a collectible. That would be awesome. I don't know how you guys did not even think about that. And I hope for the holidays, well, it's kind of too late now because already no November, uh, we're in the middle of November. <laughs> you, you know, you guys had to kind of start that thing like right now, but uh, unfortunately not. Now, here's another thing. Now, uh, you guys requested something that was a little unusual. Now, you know, guys, I am a big fan of PC games as well. I do reviews on some PC games if you guys request them, and uh, you guys didn't request the Pokemon Sword or Shield, I guess because the demo is out, so it makes sense, uh, but you guys did request Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You said for the Nintendo Switch. Now, obviously, I'm going to say this isn't out for the Nintendo Switch. I don't think it ever will be in the near future for the Nintendo Switch. I think Nintendo is extremely stupid not to release something like that right now. Give me one sec. And I think Nintendo is extremely stupid for not releasing uh, a system like that. And uh, I mean, you know, for the system. And unfortunately, that's going to just have to be for now. Uh, but it's going to be coming out on PC and pretty much all the consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Okay, so definitely if you want to, go ahead and get that for those systems. Uh, it is also included in the, uh, in the uh, what is it, the play this game risk-free. So you, <coughs> you guys will be able to, uh, you know, with the 48 hours thing. So you guys will be able to play this uh, game and uh, return it after 48 hours if the game doesn't run well. Or, you know, especially on PC, you have a lot of troubleshooting issues, as we did with Mortal Kombat 11 and all that, which I got my money back. Uh, and that was through Steam. As long as you do it uh, an hour or two or something like that of gameplay, you could return it. And uh, I did that, and I got my money back when they started releasing bullcrap on the PC. And it didn't work and all this other nonsense. So you guys are able to actually have that. Now... I asked him, he said it includes the PC games as well. Now, if you pre-order uh, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, as you can see right here, it includes the pre-order. You receive uh, what's called uh, co uh, cosmetic content. So it's probably just like a colors and stuff on it. So you have an orange lightsaber blade color. Uh, what does that say? Uh, B uh, BFD uh, one skin. Uh, my, uh, my Jedo and... I can't read this. It's like from my computer here. Um, um, Baron, uh, Campaign Hilt, and then Gold Squadron Stinger Mantis skin. So you get all of that for free uh, as long as you pre-order the game. Uh, I am going to do, based on your request, a day one review of this game. I did pre-order it for y'all, as I said I would. So I got the Deluxe Edition uh, for 70 bucks. Uh, so we're going to see how the heck that thing works out. I am kind of thinking of going to the standard edition because I'm not seeing much from the deluxe edition if that makes any sense and just go for the full-on $60 uh, but uh, we'll see how that uh, works out uh, but uh, yeah I'm going to do a day one review for you guys so don't even worry about that so I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to break it down we're going to look it over and we're going to see how the heck this game operates uh, and I'm going to take it apart limb from limb like we always do and we're going to go through it and uh, all you PC gamers out there know that we are going to do what we always do, I got a 4K monitor, we're going to max this baby on max settings on my computer that I built that I show you guys how to build it uh, definitely check the channel to see uh, that also, uh, yeah uh, ch you know, check the channel, see how uh, to build a computer, I show you guys exactly what I built uh, so this game is going to be able to be run at full 4K and everything at top resolution. So it's going to look better than any other uh, on the console. And it's 60 bucks. And then if you want to wait a little while, you could get it even cheaper. If you guys get it uh, uh, from, uh, what is it, G2A? 
something.com or some other one. Uh, I forgot. What they, they have different ones that do it. Uh, they'll sell you used uh, keys of the game of people that played it and don't want to play it anymore so you could wait like a month and get it after that. Uh, and that'll be great. But uh, we'll do a first on review. Now, if you guys look, they also have a $200 version of the game that includes a kind of like a, a light, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Razer um, keyboard. Now, you guys know I did do... Uh, a thing I, I just want to check where I had that because I had it on here as well. Oh, here we go. Uh, so it is. Hold on. Here we go. So you get the bundle. So you get a. I think it was a Razer keyboard uh, that you get with it. Now you guys know that I did the Black Widow review for you guys. I did the Ra you know Razer uh, keyboard reviews for their mechanical keyboards. I'm here to tell you that it's most likely going to be crap. It does die after a while. The Corsair was the one that I still use right now and have zero issues whatsoever with this uh, with, with the uh, mechanical keyboard. So this is going to be a subpar keyboard. Not the best thing in the world, but it has the same colors of, let's say, the Stormtroopers. It's going to have a humongous mat, which you could get anywhere for 20 bucks, really, and you could have a custom mat. But I got one that lights up, and it was like you know 20 bucks for a map of the world and it has like red lighting and any rgb colors this thing does not it's just going to be a big uh mat for a mouse and a keyboard the only thing that really is nice is going to be the optical mouse that is included that's going to look like a freaking stormtrooper but i'm sure later on you'll be able probably to find that somewhere on sale on ebay but other than that i don't know if i'd spend i mean i guess it's worth 200 dollars because uh, the mechanical keyboard eraser black widow would retail anywhere from $69.99 to $100 if you buy it in a ripoff store, which does happen. So you could get that, and then you, you think about it, it includes an optical mouse and a mat. So add that together, and you're paying $100 for the game, and then you're getting a special edition, uh, What uh, I think it's a yeah, special edition PC bundle, I don't know. Uh, but you get also the game with it. So I would say retail value in reality should have been about like $169.99. But if you buy it in a ripoff store, it makes sense to get it for about $200. And this is a limited edition, so it would probably be good if you guys want that uh, sort of sort of. Uh, sort of um you know mechanical keyboard and that as a collectible i of course have it there's no real need for that so who cares but uh, if you guys want to do that it's 199.99 and again with that money back guarantee uh, well s store credit uh, guarantee it's going to be worth it so anyways guys let me know what you guys think are you guys looking forward to uh pokemon sword and pokemon shield i know there's already a lot of people on the forums uh complaining about this game and the game's not even out so i can imagine uh but from the demo i had no you know i did a review for you guys i showed you guys the run through i haven't seen anything negative about it but i know the big game they're kind of making people buy both uh of the parts some people are like the shield is going to be a better buy the sword I, I don't know i'm not into the pokemon world at all but uh i obviously know they know what they're talking about and uh because of that i probably you know my wife wants it, but she's not in a hurry to get it. She'll probably get it way down the line when the prices go a little bit down. Uh, you know, she buys it. On, she'll buy it on eBay or something. You know, the games itself. So we'll see what what happens with that. But definitely, as you guys requested, I did do the pre-order for the deluxe edition. I'm thinking of shrinking it down to the standard edition. Let me know what I should do. Uh, I'm letting you guys obviously do the. You know, you guys are coming out with the requests. I'm going to be fulfilling them either way. So let me know what you guys think I should do, either or, and I will do a day one review on that. As always, guys, self-funded here. This is the people's channel. We're not a paid-for organization that tells you a game is good when it's not. This is us giving back. I'm giving back. You're giving back. That's why I want you guys to comment in the section below, in the comment section below, which I call a forum, and you guys can validate what I'm saying. You can invalidate what I'm saying. The point is, I want this community to grow. So share it with everybody you know. As you know, for some reason, I got to stop. Uh, I can't share. Uh, you know, even though you guys are hitting the notification bell, for some reason, a lot of you guys are not being alerted. Uh, thank you for all you guys that contacted YouTube. They apparently told you that um, that because we're a small channel, this is why this is happening. So let our channel grow. Let our community grow. As always, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and uh, share uh, uh, You know, with anybody you know. But most important, comment down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking 
uh, this video, subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.